No question about it, I am ready to get hurt again. I'm going to be Cupid, and I'm going to shoot my sparrow at unsuspecting victims, and they are going to get hit and say, oh, I'm in love, I was hit by Cupid's sparrow. Funny little bird, but he gets the job done. Well, apparently, Michael Scott is on a date, and that, that, my friend, changes everything. Oh, yeah, you told me about him. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's all right. Hey, Michael, where have you been? Hey, you're supposed to hit the white ball first, buddy. Hey! Nice one. Can I talk to you for a second? Mm-hmm. Everything okay? Why are you wearing a hat now? Guys, come on. I'm on a date. Let me do my thing. Hi, I'm Date Mike. Nice to meet me. How do you like your eggs in the morning? What is it like being single? I like it. I like starting each day with a sense of possibility. And I'm optimistic because every day I get a little more desperate and desperate situations yield the quickest results. Bros before hoes. Why? Because your bros are always there for you. They have got your back after your hoe rips your heart out for no good reason. And you were nothing but great to your hoe. And you told her that she was the only hoe for you. And that she was better than all the other hoes in the world. And then... Then suddenly she's not your hoe no mo. I am ready to start dating again. Getting back on the market. So, FYI, for those of you who are thinking about fixing me up with any of your friends, use the woman on page 85 as a template. That will be all. Would I rather be feared or loved? Um, easy, both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. I need help. because I want to play ball with my kids before I get too old. And before that happens, I need to get laid. And before that happens, I need to be in love. And I don't wanna hear, eh, I don't know, I can't help, eh. No, no, I'm a catch, and I am not going to be the one who got away. This is an old adage. But they say that when you find true love, you know within the first 24 hours. With Carol, I knew within the first 24 minutes of the second day I met her. Hi, uh, Donna Newton here to see Michael Scott. Oh, hey, Miss Newton. Hi, Hi, I'm Jim. How are you? Did somebody order a hooker over here? <laughs> Stop that. Hi, how are you? <laughs> There's this woman I met a few weeks ago. Her name is Donna, the manager of the Sid and Dexters. And right now, we're in the midst of a passionate love affair. Um, no, but she is coming by today, maybe to buy some printers, so. I took the liberty to scan a few things earlier, and I want to show you. There we go! Whoa, look at those vivid colors. Look at my eyes. Those are Shrek green eyes. That is me again. Mm -hmm. I think this displays the crisp, dazzling white. Mm -hmm. And that would be a display mm. of the crisp, gorgeous black. Yeah. It's subtle. That's how it works. I show her an image that turns her on. And then she looks at me, then she looks at the image, then back at me, then back at the image. Soon she doesn't know what is me, what is the image. She just knows that she's turned on. This is a place that I like to go to be alone with my thoughts. I've never taken anybody there before. Who took the photo? Ryan. And that's it. That's me. That's who I am. Not bad. <laughs> oh, thanks. You're not bad either. Thank you. <clears throat> oh. Jim, could you come in here for a sec? What was that printer we were looking at? I honestly don't see what the big deal is. Stevie Wonder is married. Are you going to tell me that Stevie Wonder doesn't love his wife just because he's not sure what she looks like? What a cute bench. Thanks, that's my bed. Jan mm. has uh, <laughs> some space issues, so I curl up hey. on that puppy. Really? Because 
Seems pretty narrow and yeah. short. It's actually a lot bigger than it seems. Look at this. Ah. See? He fits perfectly. <laughs> well, here we all are, alone but together. No flowers for us. Relationships? We don't need no stinking relationships. Morning, Pam. No, nothing happened. <laughs> I swear, nothing happened. What? I'm totally being serious. A gentleman does not kiss and tell, and neither do I. <laughs> No, seriously, guys, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I don't want to go into it at all. It's off limits. Fine. I took her back to her hotel and we made out for a little while. It was great. I mean, she told me about her divorce. We talked for about five hours. She fell asleep on my arm. So. Pam and Jim's wedding will be the single best pickup destination in the history of the universe. Ooh, things was not our, <laughs> oh, they're going great. I, uh, we're just clicking on every level, emotionally and sexually and orally, and I am not used to relationships going as well. I'm actually having trouble focusing on my job. And I like it! Jan told me to play it cool and not tell anybody because it could get us both in trouble. So officially, I did not see her, but I did see Jan there in our room at night and in the morning. That's all I'm going to say. Sex. Sex. We had sex. <laughs> I had sex with her. I had sex with Jan. I am downloading some N3P That's music yep. for a CD mixtape for Holly. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for perfect songs that work on two levels. What are the two levels? The two levels being uh, Welcome to Scranton mm -hmm. and I Love You. Well, dang. Let's start with the I Love You level. Hey, what's the group that was from Scranton and made it big? Is that you too? Yes. You don't love Holly. I think I do. But you just met her. Well, it's love at first sight. Actually, it was, no, it was when I heard her voice. It was love at first see with my ears. Oh, okay, that doesn't work like that. Well, I'm not a romantic. What is this? <laughs> that is my Christmas card. It's a picture of you and me and your kids on a ski trip, having a blast, skis and greetings. No, see, we never went on a ski trip. I know, I know. I went on a ski trip. Right. Two years ago with my kids and my ex-husband. Yes, but what you didn't realize at the time was that I was with you, in a sense. I was in your heart Michael, and next to your kids. What? This is so weird. I don't understand. It's a bold move to Photoshop yourself into a picture with your girlfriend and her kids on a ski trip with their real father. But then again, Michael's a bold guy. I have recently taken a lover. Well, that's great. Congratulations. Who's the lucky lady? Pam's mom. What? Pam's mom, Helene. Remember from your wedding? You're messing with me. About what? You did not have sex with Pam's mom. Oh, big time. What kind of car does she drive? She drives a green camera. And the seats go all the way down. All the way down. Oh my God. <laughs> well, that was not at all what I expected. <laughs> Whoa. My heart's still racing. I just looked a man in the eyes and I shook his hand. All the time I was thinking, I'm sleeping with your wife. And you know who does that? James freaking Bond. No, 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 no. I'll tell you this, it is not because of the boob job. Excuse me, boob enhancement. That would be shallow. And this is the opposite of shallow. This is emotionally magnificent. Pam, it is very complicated. There are a lot of moving parts here. Sounds complicated. Yeah, but I mean, if you really like this person, then you should see where it goes. You want me to be happy? Of course. Part of the problem is she is the mother 
of a close friend of mine. Oh. More than a friend. A co-worker. Oh. Gossip. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it, Michael? Who? It's okay. No, 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 no. No. Oh my God! Oh my God! No! That could have gone one of two ways, but I never expected her to get upset.